This is Keith from IWantToMakeATVShow.com and today we are going to talk about the One Sheet. The One Sheet is one of the most important tools in your arsenal and today I'm going to explain to you how to build it. One of the first things you want to do is you want to make it simple, you want to make it easy to read, and you want to have some pictures. The people that you're going to be giving this to, the executives, are very, very busy. You need to draw them in in the very first few seconds. So what do we have here? We have the title of the show, The Long Road, Bullets in Overdrive. They're going to find out what that means soon enough. But what we have is we have three different photos. We have a long road, which coincides with the name. We have a picture of who we're going to find out is Bullets in Overdrive. This is a band. It's a good picture. We've got four good looking people here. We can see a little bit of contrast. We can see where there could be some dynamic things in here. Uh, we also have a school bus. Is this what these people are going to drive down this road? I don't know. Automatically, for the people that are in this business, they know we've got a potential for conflict. We've got a potential for some contrast here. So let's get to our words. Well, first of all, actually, we've got the long road, as I said, the title, Bullets in Overdrive. Get your legal on there. Copyright, Keith Giesbrecht, 2009. This stuff is important, okay? And your lawyer and your agent is going to tell you the same thing. So once we get into the body of this, we have three different sections. We have our introduction, we have who we're going to be seeing, and then we have our closing, okay? Let's go to the introduction. The very first sentence is your one-liner. On this, it is the long road follows a young rock band as they take their first tour across Canada in pursuit of one of the most common childhood dreams, being rock stars. Boom! If that's all they read, they know what this show is about. This is set up basically like an essay. Tell them what you're going to tell them, then you tell them, then you tell them what you just told them. Okay, nice and simple. So we're opening up with our one-liner, then we get into a little more detail. Bullets in Overdrive is a band formed by two brothers and a girl. Okay, now we know what it is. It's a, we already know this from here, it's a band. So reiterating that, two brothers and a girl, okay, Okay, well that's no big deal. There's lots of bands out there that have male and female. These guys have been together since they were under the age of 10. Now this is interesting, okay? Now they're in their late teens. This is interesting as well. We have a rock band in their late teens. They've been together since they were kids and they're gonna go on their first tour. We, we talk about the success that they've had in their town. You know, they've, been, they've seen some small success opening for medium-sized bands around their hometown, but now for the first time they're heading out on a cross-country tour. Now we have the possibility of peril. There is something at risk here. There is, they're taking a chance. They're going out there. Things could go right. Things could go horribly wrong. So, as I said, we tell them what we're going to tell them. And we tell them, then we tell them what we told them. We do the same thing here, starting with our, starting with our one-liner. We get into a little more detail. Now we give them the follow-up. This is telling them what we just told them here. One young band living the rock and roll lifestyle traveling across the country in an old school bus, in an old school bus on the long road to glory. Okay? This right here, this if this is all they read, if the phone rings, if the building catches fire, if anything happens, if they read this, they know what it's about. If they read this whole thing, they know what it's about. Now we get into here. We're going to get a little more detailed. Now we're going to tell them about who the people are. Who are the characters that you're going to see on this show? Okay, so let's open it up a little bit with some peril again. We want to see some contrast. We want to see some possibility of conflict. The Long Road explores the highs and lows of chasing a goal with friends. Okay, so this is good. They're pals that will never be loved or more loved or hated depending on the day. Okay, so we're showing things can go horribly right. Things can go horribly wrong. Now let's introduce the characters. We have our lead singer. I'm describing him and his electricity on stage. Again, one of the things we mentioned here is these guys are young. So I'm mentioning their ages. If age is not a factor for your characters, you don't need to mention it. But in this situation it is. I'm describing. You need to know who this guy is in this paragraph. Brandon, the drummer. Okay, The older brother, reminiscent of a young Tommy Lee. Most people, if you haven't been living under a rock, know who Tommy Lee is. Again, we mentioned his age. Um, we talked about what he does when not playing. He works night stocking shelves at a grocery store. Okay, so this has a little bit of a risk for him. This is a possible payoff. This guy's stocking shelves in a grocery store, but he's a drummer. He's like Tommy Lee. Wow, so this is a chance to see a kid's dream come true, right? Now let's get into the girls. 
Kelsey again with the ace. She's 18. She plays the bass. She's the strong silent one. She's been playing with the brothers from the start. And then our other girl, Tammy, is the new lead guitarist. They just hired her and she's struggling to fit in with a band that has literally grown up together. So now we can see who everybody is. We've got intros. We're looking that we can see conflict and contrast. We've got the contrast and conflict between brothers, uh, between two girls, one new girl. Is there going to be any sexual tension on the road? We don't know. They're good looking kids. If all they read is this, they know who the people are, okay? Now, let's tell them what we just told them. The travel is long and hard, and after most gigs, they have to pack up and drive through the night to get to the next half-empty bar. This is hard. This is not glorious. This is not glamour. They're not getting on a plane. They're not getting off a plane to throngs of screaming teenagers. They have to pack up their own gear, and they've got to get in a van, and they've got to drive to the next night to a half-empty bar. This is not indicating success. This is going to be a long road for these guys. Ah, long road. Now we talk about what the tour is going to be like. They have one bus and eight gigs booked between Vancouver and Toronto. As well as hoping to make a name for themselves and maintain their friendships, they need to make enough money to make it back home. Again, now there's again risk. There's a chance of peril here. What if they don't make enough money? What if their bus breaks? Lots of room for contrast and conflict here, okay? So, let's wrap it up. We got the one-liner, introduced the band, wrapped that up, introduced the characters, told them how hard it might be, told them about some more risk, then we wrap it up by saying four friends accustomed to being the music darlings at home will discover how deep their friendships run and just how long the road to, is to rock and roll stardom. Ended off with a nice little tagline, it flows nicely, this is a little feel-good paragraph. People, when they get to this, they should want to pass this along to people. They should want to pass it up to their bosses. You know, it feels good. We've seen the risk. We've seen the peril. We've seen the friendship. Lots of room for payoff. Lots of room for the hook before going to commercials. These are things that they're thinking of. End it off with the title of the show, The Long Road, Bullets in Overdrive. And people, very important, put your contact information on here. Put your name and your phone number and your email address. If they love your show and they can't figure out how to get a hold of you, it's not going to be a very good situation. So there you have it, your one sheet encapsulating your entire show in one piece of paper.